Okay, good afternoon, or evening, rather. Uh, Lincoln Mitchell, disclaimers up on the board. Take a pause, five seconds, read it. Did that. Let's get down to business here. Make sure nobody, uh, somebody wanted to play me dominoes. Can't play you right now. Let me see if I can play you. Oh, he's gone. Um, I want to bring up this $20 account I had. This is a $20 account. Yes, it is. But I want to go through it. <clears throat> this is a $20 account. We, uh, you know, big credit to my uh, two people that kind of told me about this uh, Trader's Way. I was kind of skeptical on really trying Trader's Way. Big credit to Larry for giving me that. Larry is actually the second person that actually told me about Trader's Way. And the first person actually was uh, Willie. Willie Wayne was the first person that kind of gave me heads up on uh, Trader's Way. Big props to both of those guys for really tilting, you know, uh, giving me heads up on that. So I decided to uh, try out Traders Way. This is a live account, as you can tell. This is real money. And um, I want to go through this trade right here. I want to go through a couple of trades on here with you. So we're going to count these trades in order before we had our first loss. Uh, we got right here. So we got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 100% trading right there. 11 one loss so we got what was that that was 11 12 13 14 15 so that's a 15 and one keep going and now here come the losses so before we got and this my wife took over as you can tell and she's much much better trader than me man she's a much 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 better trader than me but as you can tell she increased a lot sizes so her drawback what killed her her drawback killed her these Three trades alone, damn near wiped out the account. The count was really low. As you can tell, I kind of brought it back from the dead. You know, it was lower than that. It was, I think, down to $6 or $7, something like that, $7. And I brought it back from the dead. I started playing with it a little bit more. And the reason I'm showing you this is you have to set goals. So like we said, if you can take all these trades, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So at one point, we had a 15 and 1 ratio. We won 15 trades. I mean, we won 14 trades and we missed one. You want to set goals for yourself. Even if you just take $20 and put $20 on the line and kind of learn how to really trade. But set goals for yourself. I mean, I don't recommend people doing what we're doing here. You know, because, you know, we know how to trade, of course, until you see this right here, this area. But at one time, we took this account and we started with $20. We had this account up to $45 quick. I mean, I and we really didn't play. We really didn't trade it that much. But I'm going to start trading it more because I want to set this goal for myself. I want to see how far I can really go off $20. You know, and so that's why I'm still trading it. You know, as, as you can tell, I'm still bringing it back from the dead. This is me back in, back in trade now. That's all me right here back trading it today. You know, I got back in the ground with it, start snatching. The many of these, I should have made a lot more money. I, sh you know, I had a couple of trades that dropped 30, 40 pips on me, and I was, I was on the right side, and I got out too soon because I was just trying to build the account up since it was so, you know, since it's so low. But you know, I'm trying to build my confidence back up as well. You know, and the reason why I take this account so serious is because I want to see is it really possible to take $20 to see how far I could really ride out with $20. So it's my $20 challenge. I feel like I'm one of the best at this. I can read a chart better than damn it, anybody I know. I can see things that nobody sees. Nobody sees. I can sit here and tell you, this trade did exactly what I said it was going to do. I told these people 10 hours ago, if this thing closes, I said, need a four hour, if it closes above 66, I said, if it closed under 66, you're going to see this all day. If not, if it closed above 66, you're going to see 107. I mean, 1007. It closed above 66. Look at your price. I call, nobody reads a chart the way I read these charts, man. Um, 
but you want to set goals for yourself. Be realistic on your goals. I'm going to get, I'm really going to buckle down on this one a little bit more. I'm going to get really aggressive like I should be. And, I, and I'm, I'm going to start getting really back to plants a dollar, you know, a dollar uh, pip, even though it's a <laughs> $20 account. But I'm really going to buckle down to it because I like setting goals for myself. I like to see how far I can really push myself. You know, uh, some of y'all are not like that. And, you know, and if you're not, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But for me to be the best at what I do, I set goals like this and I go for it like this. Like I said, this is a live account. You're not going to find too many people that can do a 15 in one trade. I'm sorry, boss. I mean, I don't know one. I don't know one of them. You know what I'm saying? I, I really, truly don't. And if my wife wouldn't have jumped in here because that was her loss, all of these losses were hers. The only loss I did was a $5 one. I did this one and I did that one and that was it. Those are the only two losses I had. But I'm not knocking her because she's way better than I am. So I can't re really say anything bad about her. As you can tell, when she jumped behind it, she jumped behind the um, station. She automatically increased her pip because she's that good. But this right here kind of broke her heart a little bit. And I'm, you know, trying to talk her into it. Just don't let it get to you. Get back to the trading, you know, because she's good. When she gets in it, she can run like that that hard because she's that good. She's that much better than me. But you got to set your own goals. You got your own goals. My wife was playing like we had a regular account. So she increased a lot. She's letting it go back. Think okay to go this way, like nah, baby, this is a $20 account, <laughs> you know. I mean, when this happened, of course, you know, we had like 40 something, $45, somewhere around that. It was 45 here, so that put it what 35, then it was 30, so that was a big chunk. But set goals for yourself, set goals for yourself. I hear a lot of people say if you could do six and four, win six and lose four, you'll be a millionaire. Well, I got a 15 to one ratio, and I'm not a millionaire, but what I'm saying to you. It's possible to have it all in line like that. It's possible. You know, don't let nobody tell you it can't be done. When people tell you there's no way a person can do 10 trades in a row, count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We did 11 trades in a row before we had our first loss. It's possible, people. Do you understand? That's all I'm saying. I'm going to buckle down on this account, and I don't know if I can give an update or whatever is going on with this account. I really want to see how far I can push it. I want to see, can I bring this account back from the dead, which I really think I can. It was down to $7. It was down to $7, and I brought it all the way back up to 11 I really didn't trade that much. This one alone, this trade alone, would have got all the money back in some. This dropped 30 pips, and I knew that was going to happen. I made a video on it. It dropped 30 pips. But set goals for yourself and see how far you can really push it. You hear me? Okay, that's it. Lincoln Mitchell.